let us find the number of homomorphisms from V to V, where V is the plain 4 group. Suppose phi from V to V is a homomorphism. Then we have already showed that kernel of any homomorphism is a normal subgroup of the domain. Therefore here kernel of phi is a normal subgroup of V. And by fundamental homomorphism theorem, V over kernel of phi is isomorphic to phi of V. So we are making use of this result to count the number of homomorphisms from V to V. So if phi is a homomorphism from V to V, kernel of phi is a normal subgroup of V. Hence to identify the homomorphisms from V to V, first of all we have to write the normal subgroups of V. Since clean 4 group V is an abelian group, all the subgroups of V are normal subgroups. And we know that the subgroups of clean 4 group are set E, set EA, set EB, set EC and set EABC. Now we will study about the homomorphisms from V to V corresponding to each of these normal subgroups which act as the kernel of that homomorphism. Case 1, kernel of phi equal to set E. That means that E is the only element in V which is mapped to the identity element E in V under the homomorphism phi. By fundamental homomorphism theorem, V over set E is isomorphic to phi of V. The coset V over set E is actually isomorphic to V itself because the set V equal to set E A B C. V over set E contains the element E star E, E star A, E star B and E star C. Which is actually V itself. Therefore V over set E is isomorphic to V. So we can say V is isomorphic to phi of V. Since phi is a homomorphism, phi of V is actually a subgroup of V. That is here phi of V denote the set of all elements in V which are images of elements of V under the map phi. So this is actually the set phi of V. And we have already proved that if phi is a homomorphism then phi of V is a subgroup of V. So what are the possibilities for defining this homomorphism phi? Here note that phi of E equal to set E means that the map phi is 1 to 1. So one possibility is E should be mapped to E itself since the kernel is E. The element A may be mapped to the element A here, B may be mapped to the element B and the element C may be mapped to the element C. So this is actually a 1-1 one, one onto map from V to V. So this is one possibility. Altogether there may be three factorial homomorphisms because for mapping the element A we have three possibilities which are A, B or C. Then after mapping A, B has two possibilities remaining. And for C, there remains only one possibility. So altogether, there is three factorial different homomorphisms with kernel of phi equal to set E. So under case 1, there are three factorial equal to six homomorphisms possible from V to V. Now let us consider the second case where kernel of phi equal to set E A. That means that in the set V, the elements E and A are mapped to the identity element E. Now by fundamental homomorphism theorem we can write V over set E A is isomorphic to phi of V. Now we should have an intuition about the set V over set E A. V is actually the set E A B C. Now let us write the elements of V over set E A. One of the coset is set E A itself which is equivalent to the coset E star set E A which is actually equal to set E A itself. Now we will search for an element in V which is not in this set. So let us take B. So we have to write B star set E A to get the next coset which is equal to B star E is B itself and B star A is C. So we can see that these two cosets together contains all the elements of B. So V over set E A contains the cosets set E A and set B C. So this is a group containing only two elements. So any group containing two elements is isomorphic to set 2. So we can write V over set E A is isomorphic to set 2. And here set 2 is actually isomorphic to phi of V. And we know that phi of V is a subgroup of V. And which are the subgroups of V having only two elements? 
they are set EA, set EB and set EC. That is phi of B can be set EA or set EB or set EC. Suppose phi of B equal to set EA. Then what will be our homomorphism? Actually the elements E and A are mapped to the identity element E. And we claim that phi of V equal to set EA. That is image set is only set EA. Therefore the remaining element B and C should map to the element A in V. Then only phi of V becomes set EA. And there is no pre-images for the element B and C. So this is one possible homomorphism from V to V when kernel of phi equal to set EA. Similarly we can consider phi of V equal to set EB. In that case, the homomorphism becomes the element E and A are mapped to the identity element E. Now, the remaining elements B and C are mapped to the element B. And A and C have no pre-images. And there remains one more homomorphism for this case in which phi of P equal to set EC. In that case, E and A are mapped to the identity element E again. And the remaining element B and C are mapped to the element C. Since the image set is set E, C itself. And the remaining elements A and B have no pre-images. So this is the three possible homomorphisms when we consider kernel of phi as set E, A. So according to case 2, there are three homomorphisms possible. Similarly, in case 3, we are considering the case when kernel of phi equal to set E, B. With a similar argument, we can say that there are three different homomorphisms possible with kernel of phi equal to set EB. And again, another three homomorphisms are possible by considering kernel of phi as set EC. Now, there remains only one more case to check kernel of phi equal to set EABC. In that case, all the elements in V are mapped to the element E in V under the homomorphism phi. So, by fundamental homomorphism theorem, we can write V over V is isomorphic to phi of V since the kernel of phi is V itself. Now what is a factor group V over V? It is a group containing only one element so it is isomorphic to set E. So we can write set E is isomorphic to phi of V. And we know that this phi of V is a subgroup of V. About V over V you can check the elements in V over V. We are taking one element E and if we write E star V which is one of the corset, it contains all the elements in V. Therefore, V over V contains only one element. So, it is isomorphic to set E. Any group containing only one element is isomorphic to the group set E. Therefore, we can write set E is isomorphic to phi of V which is a subgroup of V. And which is a subgroup of V containing only one element it is actually set containing only the identity element. So we can say phi of V is actually equal to set E. So if we take kernel of phi as set E A B C, we can conclude that there is only one homomorphism in this case, which is the trivial homomorphism, mapping all the elements in V to the identity element in V. So altogether, how many homomorphisms are there from V to V? Under case 1, we have 3 factorial, that is 6 homomorphisms. Under case 2, we have 3 homomorphisms. Under case 3 and 4, we have 3 homomorphisms each. And under case 4, we have 1 homomorphism. So, altogether, there are 16 different homomorphisms from V to V. Now, let us check the number of homomorphisms from S3 to V. S3 is the symmetric group on three letters and V is the clean four group. As in the previous problem, we have to write all the normal subgroups of S3 first. The normal subgroups of S3 are set containing only the identity element in S3, iota, and the alternative group A3, which contains only the even permutations in S3, and S3 itself. So let phi from S3 to V be a homomorphism. Then by fundamental homomorphism theorem, S3 over kernel phi is isomorphic to phi of S3. So kernel of a homomorphism must be a normal subgroup of S3 here. So only possibilities for kernel of phi are set iota, A3 or S3. So we will consider the first case when kernel of phi equal to set iota. That means that in S3, 
only the identity element iota in S3 is mapped to the element E in the clean 4 group V. So by fundamental homomorphism theorem, we can write S3 over set iota is isomorphic to phi of S3. And we know that phi of S3 is a subgroup of V. So here set iota contains only the identity element. So S3 over set iota is isomorphic to the group S3 itself. Now we can write S3 is isomorphic to phi of S3 which is a subgroup of V. Now which is the subgroup of clean 4 group V containing 6 elements. Because here S3 contains 6 elements. You know that clean 4 group have no subgroup containing 6 elements. So this case is not possible. That is there is no homomorphism phi from S3 to V with kernel of phi equal to set iota. Now second case is kernel of phi equal to the alternative group A3. That is set upon even permutations in S3. Since kernel of phi is A3, this means that all the elements in A3 are mapped to the identity element E in V. Now we have the elements S3 minus A3 here. We have to decide what is the image set of these elements. By fundamental homomorphism theorem, we can write S3 over A3 is isomorphic to phi of S3, which is a subgroup of V. Now S3 over A3 contains two elements. Because if we write the elements of the factor group S3 over A3, one of the coset is A3 itself. And to find the next coset, we will take an odd permutation in S3. Because A3 contains all the even permutations, we will take an odd permutation in S3. And let it be rho. And if we take rho star A3, actually it contains set of all odd permutations. Therefore, the factor group S3 over A3 contains only two elements. Any set containing two elements is isomorphic to set 2. Therefore, we can say set 2 is isomorphic to phi of S3. And which is a subgroup of V. What are the subgroups of the clean 4 group V containing only two elements? Because set 2 contains two elements. We know that the subgroups of V containing two elements are set EA, set EB and set EC. First, suppose phi of S3 equal to set EA. That means that the image set of phi is set EA and here since kernel of phi is A3, all the elements in A3 are mapped to the element E and all the remaining elements S3 minus A3 are mapped to the element A. And there is no pre-images for B and C. That is a one possibility for phi. And another possibility if we take the image set phi of S3 as set EB, then all the elements in A3 are mapped to E and all the remaining elements are mapped to B. So this is another possibility for phi. And one more possibility is there in which the image set phi of S3 is set EC in which all the elements in A3 are mapped to E and the remaining elements in S3 are mapped to C. And there are no pre-images for A and B. So altogether there are three different homomorphisms from S3 to V under this case in which kernel of phi equal to A3. Now let us consider the last case when kernel of phi equal to S3 itself. That means that all the elements in S3 are mapped to the identity element E in V. Then by fundamental homomorphism theorem S3 over S3 is isomorphic to phi of S3. Clearly S3 over S3 is isomorphic to the group containing only the identity element since it contains only one element. So we can write set iota is isomorphic to phi of S3 and which is a subgroup of V. Clearly from this figure itself we can conclude that here the homomorphism phi is the trivial homomorphism where all the elements in S3 are mapped to the identity element in V. There is exactly one homomorphism under this case. So altogether there are four different homomorphisms from S3 to V. Hence using this method you can count the number of homomorphisms between two finite groups using the fundamental homomorphism theorem. So dear students, I am winding up this algebra lecture series with this video and we will be back with another lecture series. Thank you.